Hello everybody, my name is Shabram71 and today we are playing What Remains of Edith Finch. I've seen game gameplay for this and it's it's pretty good to be honest. Um apparently it's about some family. So yeah, we're gonna find out what I mean, that's those are nice flowers. What the fuck do I do? Oh shit, just press the random button. Hmm. Oh, we can move, okay. Fair enough. Could I run faster? I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's the house. Fucking hell, that's tall. I wouldn't live in that. Hell no. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Oh, you gotta press R2. Oh, no, 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 get back on it, you fucking bitch. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Close that. No one's lived here for seven years? My brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, that's a bit sad, isn't it? Wow. I actually have the effect of that. Look at that. What's this goddamn frog I'm gonna my hear? My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Huh. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Oh, look at that. They got a little sign. The finches. I don't know which way to go, but I'm gonna go this way. More frogs, my god. That. Missing Milton Finch. Huh. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now Whoa. I have questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Oh, look at it. When you, like, fall off and then you die. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if well, they're yeah. about to say something, but never do. Well, you live in a fucking... You live in the woods, so of course it's gonna be fucking silent. Well, you hear the sounds of nature. Hmm, <laughs> this basketball. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. Wow. That's huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Um but man. They made this on their As a own? Child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Yeah, look look how high it goes. Now, as a seventeen year old, I knew exactly those words were. I was afraid of the house. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Look through the thing. Oh, no, no. Do it again. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Well, there's a garage over there, maybe. What's this? Bunch of compost, I guess. It's a bit spooky for a bloody house. Okay, that's just scary. Oh, I'm going through the cat thing. Used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. Damn, look at that kind of car. It's old. 
Still got bikes. I'm guessing their dad used to work in here or something. Got a swimming pool. Turn on the lights. The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh. Gotta find the power then, don't I? For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. Well, this is your home, so of course you would, but But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. Dawn, Edith, Eddie, and Lewis. In memory of Lewis Finch. Hmm. Sad. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all cool. got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Huh. Um, Molly must have been a fat ass cat. There only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. So who made you like this? Like, what made you isolate yourselves? I think that's just the fact. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hmm. Why is this locked? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Um, that's a bit fucked up, don't you think? Like... In the library? You couldn't do it anywhere else? Oh, what's this? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Well, what about this, 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 this? Oh, shit, no. Go, do, do it again. Stupid. Oh, there we go. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Cute. I look like Bigfoot. Didn't realize that. Okay. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Hmm. Damn, you lot like like to read. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. <clears throat> it was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Edie or Eddie. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. Damn. Let's go upstairs then. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Who's this one? Eddie and Sven. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Hmm. So that's the mum and, I mean, grandmother and grandfather, Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Oh, that's sad, man. Looked like he had a cool bedroom, though. How do how Calvin was only eleven, and obviously they're gonna be way older. But you know, what's this one, Gregory? He was only one years old. 
No, you can't. Just, oh, no. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. No. That's actually making me cry. Oh, my God. A one-year-old. No, that's that's upsetting. <sighs> Who's is this? This one didn't get finished. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. S this is I think uncle. my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Huh. Hmm, you opened it. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was oh, that's that clever. I've been afraid of. This Reading is this, cool. maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. Who's this room? Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Well, it has to be a girl's room. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Get to that in a minute. Oh, is that her? Since Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Ten years old. Huh, she got a cat thing. Why are these so young? December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. Hmm. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. What's that? The gerbil oh. food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Yeah. My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh. I wish I had some candy. I want some sweets. Hi, fishy. Why can't I? Oh. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Hi. I want to try this door first. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Hmm. Guess her mom didn't want her eating anything. I kept eating and eating. Hmm. Ah. Uh. How would you eat all the toothpaste? What was that? Can't see. I ate a lot of things that night. Wouldn't they be like poisonous, kind of? Then I heard chirping huh. outside my window. Hello, birdie. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... Oh... I was a cat! How do I... Oh! 
Shameful. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Get the bird. Get a birdie. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Can I not get up there? Uh, apparently not. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Mom's asleep. Guessing Dad's asleep as well. You're up there, but how do I get up there? Oh. Come on, buddy. I yeah. Did, and I almost got her. <laughs> Sounds like the bird's getting pissed. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh no! And suddenly, I was an owl. First, oh. all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't see no rabbits. I really don't see no rabbits. Oh, there they are. Oh, I missed him. Got one. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh. A mama rabbit? A mama rabbit? Who's that? <gasps> oh no. Uh, <laughs> she was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Oh no, no. But suddenly, I was a shark. When you die. How <laughs> wouldn't that hurt? I rolled off the cliff and into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. I wanted that. Oh. Oh, I missed. But like, an inch. Where are you? I can't control this bloody thing. Oh no.
Am I looking for another one? Or... Ah. Oh. Jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. What is it? What is it? I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Uh huh. There's rats down here, I swear. Oh, you're gonna go up someone's butthole. Ah. Uh. Oh god, this thing is hard to control. I got closer and closer. Oh no, we're gonna have to kill ourselves. Like, kill the girl. Whatever. All my stomach started growling. Oh. Oh no. So basically she turned into uh, uh, some kind of monster looking thing. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. And um... So... She, Molly turned into like a monster kind of thing, so it was under her bed. She jumped off. And then the thing ate her. Something like that. Let me go out this way. 
I can't. Which way am I going? Hmm. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't hmm. like bringing up the past. Well, now. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Huh, this looks like a nice room. Sam looks at that painting. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Oh. Sorry. Her room was like a museum. Look at that. Okay, Lewis was 20... 30... 2, I think. Told people Sven was killed oh. by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Hmm. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. <laughs> For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. <laughs> What's this? Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. <laughs> My mom was furious. Damn. Built in 1937, Sven Finch. Damn. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Huh, okay, here's the bathroom. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Yeah, I can see that. Hold on. I don't know if we've progressed from there or not. I'm gonna see what this is. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Hmm. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Oh, that's sad. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Hmm. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Hmm. His daughter hmm. Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. <laughs> okay, that's it. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that looks like a gnome guy. She took pills as well. Damn. Can I take a shower? <laughs> yeah, like she took pills. Well, she was in the 90s after all. Okay, this, this door sealed. National Park. What's this one? There's a secret in this bathroom, Sven and Edith. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. That's clever. Calvin Finch, so that one's Calvin. Who's that? Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. Hmm. He never put it down. <sighs> Shut up, ice cream van outside. God, I'm trying to make a video here. Hmm, swing. From 
from the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. <laughs> this looks cool. Fort Calvin. <laughs> oh no, stand up, stand up, stand up. Oh, look at that, that's the camera. Damn. Looks more advanced. We can go upstairs. Who's that? Is that? Edie. Grandma Edie. Damn. To the command center. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Hmm. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I not history any more than my mom did. Calvin. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Hmm. Oh, look, a swinging on a swing. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. At the oh, look at this. Funeral, we swore. We'd never you got a broken foot, bro. What happened there? I think Calvin oh, you're going a bit too high. Um, that doesn't sound okay. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Uh oh. No. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh god, that's scary. Albert, I'm not gonna tell you again. Okay, I lost my momentum now. Okay, it's both legs, okay. Pick up my momentum again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh no. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh no. Oh, that's really high. Oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. <gasps> the boy who fly. Sad. Strangely familiar. When I was <laughs> younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. That's a little cool setup, though. Look at that. It's cute. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Hmm. What's on this side? Oh, nothing. Okay. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Huh. This is some cool house. I wish, I wish I lived in this house. Look how many secret hatches there are. The Here, yeah, Rob just got in one of these and called 911 or 999. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies.
Whenever people ask me about my Barbara. family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Hmm. This so one was 14 years old. Two years until America grew out of it. That's sick. Wait, no, I wanna... I wanna go in here first. Growing you know this? I always thought of Barbara actually scared me. Star. Well, she was a star, I'll tell you that. Some big ass Bigfoot. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Bob Street. Dreadful stories. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, oh Jack. Oh. Yeah. Scary dude. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. I has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, Scream hadn't aged well. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when. Now that was a great scream. <laughs> that sounded like you can bud it. Slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. The so hell? Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried? A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret hmm. is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks. Uh -huh. I'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. Sounds a bit suspicious. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. That's just like, suspicious, huh? She found Rick Scratch and imagined the worst. Yeah, use it as a weapon. Okay, that up there, that's scary, okay. The gang's leader is the infamous hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago. 
years ago tonight. The flip, man. So I'm guessing that's the sword that her grandfather, I think, got cut with. Okay, that just looks sketchy. What the hell's in there? Jesus. Huh. Oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your screen. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then <laughs> act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out. But she kept the little something to remember him. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours hmm. later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, we're dead, Walter. Don't say that. It's a little kid. Walk faster. He's screaming, fam. What the hell you think? Water man, I'm coming. Piss off. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. He couldn't get enough of power. Okay, go, 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 you fat ass. One walk faster, will ya? Beat the hell out of him. Oh, come on. Had vanished. She listened by his breathing, but all she heard was. Don't do that. Who's that? Hello? Oh dear. Oh dear. Surprise! Bravo, you were wonderful. No! The monsters had come to surprise her. Wow. It was a dream come true. And she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. I 
must prepare myself. But I hear Barbara is magnificent. She get killed. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared in the same night. Hmm. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. You little oh, son of a gun. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her gear. Ah. Uh. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Shh, <laughs> the hell. <laughs> You're weird, man. So that's Barbara, yeah? Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As <laughs> absurd as that comic was. With the crutch. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Damn. Anything else? In here. Can't go out that way. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Yep. Um. Alright, so we have to go up there next. So I'm just going to leave this video here. Um, I hope you guys like this first video. And um, make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. And if you haven't, just go follow me on social media. Like Instagram or Twitter. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.